It's been said many times that the best writers are made from readers. In fact, novelist W.P. Kinsella even was quoted charging young writers to read, 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 and then read some more. When you find something that thrills you, take it apart, paragraph by paragraph, line by line, word by word, to see what made it so wonderful. Then use those tricks the next time you write. After hearing the quote by Kinsella, I definitely saw that reading really can be beneficial to writers. But I wondered how doing something so simple, like reading a book, even one without any literary prowess, like a chiclet or what my mom calls a beach read, could really be the key to becoming a better writer. To try to find the answer, I decided to talk to one of the most influential people in my life, my high school English teacher, Miss Sue White. Miss White teaches a wide array of English classes, including creative writing and advanced placement someone English. someone who has read a wide array of literature has a better chance of becoming a writer? Yeah, absolutely. What benefits do you think that reading lends to a skillful writer? Well, I think that the more that you've read, the more you know, and the more you know, that gives you more opportunity to include lots of different things in your writing. I think that you understand symbolism and illusions a lot better, which are give depth to your writing and different ways to communicate with the reader. And I think you get a much stronger sense of what people will want to read and what they enjoy reading and, and how you put that together. You would just know more about it from experiencing it yourself. What books do you think have influenced you in any way, good or bad? I can't really think of any books that have influenced me for bad, mainly because I think I'm definitely the kind of reader that if I don't like the book within a few pages, like, it's discarded because there's too much else to read. So I, I don't think anything's ever hurt me. I, there's lots of books that have influenced me for good. There's a bunch of nonfiction books that I think have influenced me at different points in my life. I read Why Bad Things Happen to Good People, The Road Less Traveled by M. Scott Peck, for me, the most influential part of the book is the idea that love as action versus a feeling, and that you only can show, really show love to people through how you behave. Real love is to behave in a loving manner towards someone, even if you don't feel it. That I've applied that to my, my students, so that you know, loving them doesn't mean that I just say, I, I care about you, so you're getting an A. That sometimes loving them is letting them fail. But there's many, many books that are important. I think. Now, although White is a great teacher and has influenced many young writers out there, I'm sure you're still wondering if reading really is the writer's trade secret. So I thought I'd pull in one of the big dogs, William Faulkner. Faulkner was once quoted saying, Read everything, trash, classics, good and bad, and see how they do it. Just like a carpenter who works as an apprentice and studies the master. Read. You'll absorb it. Then write. If it's good, you'll find out. So that means that even reading a beach read or that ridiculous Spanish novel will help develop your writing skills. We all know that there's plenty out there to read, so that means there's a potential for a lot of future writers out there, too. I thought that maybe the library would be a good spot to try to find one. While at the library, I encountered Lisa Deacons, an English student here at Stevens Point. She's also in my creative writing class, so I knew that she's done some writing, too. What kinds of writing do you usually do? Just whatever comes to mind. Sometimes I feel like I want to write a poem. Sometimes a short story. How would you describe your writing style? Just kind of whatever I feel like. Do you do a lot of reading outside? I do. You do, okay. I love to read. Okay. Do you think that reading a lot helps you become a, diff a better writer or influences your writing at all? I think so. It's definitely influenced my vocabulary and kind of introduced me to the different sorts of writing that I would possibly like to do. Like, I like a lot of fiction and historical fiction, so I read that a lot. So what's next for you to read? Right now, I'm reading The Help. I've seen the movie twice, and I really liked it. So I'm, gonna, I'm starting to slowly read that. But I've read that The Hunger Games are really good. So, I plan on reading those next. Reading can be a great tool for a writer. I'm not saying it's as simple as reading a book and then the next great bestseller will pop out of you. But if you read a lot and you write a lot, you'll be surprised at how much better your writing gets. Natalie Goldberg, author of Writing Down the Bones, Freeing the Writer Within, once said, If you read good books, when you write, good books will come out of you. That's exactly what I said, though, right? Goldberg then went on to say, however, 
Maybe it's not quite that easy, but if you want to learn something, go to the source. Dogen, a great Zen master, said, If you walk in the mist, you get wet. So listen, read, and write. Little by little, you will come closer to what you need to say and express it through your voice. So it's not just as easy as picking up a novel and then writing your own. But if you continue to read and continue to write, your own craft will improve through the process. By seeing what writing you like looks like, and seeing writing that makes you cringe, you'll be able to form your own personal writing style and be able to express it through your own voice, like Goldberg said. So if you would aspire to write, go out in the mist and get wet. Or you could just head to the library.